My name is Rebecca Prophet, and I'm the director of the Reese Museum. I'm Carlotta Contreras Scotterby. I'm the director of ETSU's Tipton and Slocum Galleries. The Reese Museum has been part of the campus community since 1928, and so today we are preserving and interpreting different aspects of Appalachian expressive culture. So if we center Appalachian identity um, in all of our projects. The Slocum Galleries was actually named after Elizabeth Slocum, the very first art teacher here at ETSU way back in 1911, who became the first department chair of the art and design. The exhibitions were supposedly for students who are required to have their graduation for their BFA and MFA degrees, but during the start of the semester, we wanted to maximize the potential and opportunities for education, so we do exhibitions of nationally renowned and Appalachian artists in the galleries. I think the beauty of the art galleries is that it's very multi-generational, it's interdisciplinary, it's very collaborative. It allows you to experience the world without moving away from Appalachian region. We also get a chance to showcase what we have here in Appalachia to the world through the galleries. An important function of arts in the community is creating a connective space. So when you come into an exhibit like this, it gives you an opportunity for self-reflection or maybe to think deeply about issues. Sometimes it's peaceful and sometimes it will challenge you, um, but I think that that's a really important function of art and we try to do that here. ETSU is a very wonderful place to be. Our bluegrass program, digital media, dance, theater, music, visual arts, storytelling. We have so many amazing programs that other schools do not provide. Everybody who works at the museum is really dedicated to this whole mission of kind of service to the region through art. And we're very dedicated to the idea that what we're doing is really important for the culture of our area. And we're real proud of our work.